This video will take you through the steps of constructing the graph for and calculating the coefficients of friction from the data for the friction lab. Keep in mind that a small number of steps might differ from their version in Google Sheets, mainly in the labels on the graph. First, you will need to open the original text file. Depending on the spreadsheet software you use, this may be called import. If the file does not display, make sure that you select display all files. In Excel, choose the limited by tab and finish. Make sure not to overwrite the original file, but immediately save it as a separate new Excel file. In your records, you should know which run number is the correct one. You can clean up your data by getting rid of all data columns that you don't need. Let's quickly examine the raw data as is by highlighting the numbers and creating a quick unrefined chart. Remember that in Google Sheets, you will want to include the column headers. There are three events we are looking for. First, keeping the string nice and loose. The tension should be at zero. If not, we will calibrate this later. Then there is the slow buildup of tension while the block does not slide. This is known as the static regime. Eventually, the block starts moving, at which point, if the experiment was conducted correctly, the velocity was constant, and hence, the tension should be fairly flat. To construct a graph that is more easy to interpret, we need to do two things. First, we need to calibrate the data to make sure that loose string actually corresponds to zero newtons. Second, we are going to flip our coordinate axis to be positive. To calculate the calibration force, we first need the time interval during which the string was loose. In this example, this starts 
at zero seconds and ends before about 2.25 seconds. We will take an average of the force during that time interval. Now we will calibrate the force at all times using this calibration value. To do so, we need to subtract out the calibration force from the measured force. However, because we are also flipping the axis, we will actually subtract the measured force from the calibration force. Remember to go back and make sure that our calibration force calculation is an absolute reference. Then copy the function down. Click, hold, and drag. Now we are ready to plot the corrected graph. Remember to click, hold, and select the time. And then hold down the control button. Click, hold, and select the calibrated measure values. Insert, scatter, smooth line. Click on chart, design, quick layout, first one. Change the title and the axis titles. You may get rid of the legend. Don't forget to save. Now to calculate the relevant force maximum and average force for calculations of the coefficient of static friction and kinetic friction respectively. Static friction will be maximum right before the block starts moving at maximum tension. The maximum in this case is approximately at 5.25 seconds, but just to make sure, we are going to take a small time interval on either side to calculate this. The function to calculate maximum is just known as max.
make sure to visually check that the calculated value is what you would expect to be the maximum value from the graph. For kinetic friction, we need an average tension from after the block starts moving. In this example, we will only include values from about 5.65 seconds to the end of the run. Your data might be different, so make sure to only use the part of the graph where the value is relatively flat. Again, make sure to visually verify that the numeric value calculated corresponds to what you see in the graph. To calculate the coefficients of friction from this, all you need to do is divide by the weight of the system. Do not forget to correctly divide G. Don't forget to save. Now you are ready to fill out the appropriate line in the data table and then repeat the calculations for all other combinations of side versus added mass. Once completed, the table can then be used for your analysis. Make sure to review the questions you must analyze.